we're going to talk about Oracle Cloud Platform Big Data Management. So Oracle Big Data Lite Virtual Machine, it provides an integrated environment to help you get started with the Oracle Big Data Platform. Oracle Big Data Lite Virtual Machine provides an integrated environment to help you get started with Oracle Big Data Platform. Many Oracle Big Data Platform components have been installed and configured, enabling you to begin using the system without difficulty. In this course, we use Oracle Big Data Lite Virtual Machine to perform the practices and demonstration. We'll see what components are installed. So there is Oracle Enterprise Linux, Oracle Database 12C, Cloudera Distribution, Oracle J Developer, Oracle SQL Developer and Data Modeler, Big Data SQL, NoSQL Database, SQL Connector for HDFS, Loader for Hadoop, Data Integrator, Advanced Analytics, XQuery for Hadoop, Cloudera Manager, Oracle Distribution, Oracle Big Data, Oracle Golden Gate, and Enterprise Edition. Do not worry much about this application. They will make more sense when we are done with the training and the lab. These components are a small subset of fully functional software. So they've just added a minimum required software on, on this virtual machine. At the end of the training, you will see how the software come into play for incredible user experience. So we are going to look at the case study. It is a MoviePlex case study. So Oracle MoviePlex is an application that is based on a fictitious online movie streaming rental company. Like you know, many online stores, they needed a cost-effective approach to tackle their big data challenges. They recently implemented Oracle Big Data Platform to be better manage their business, identify key opportunities, and enhance customer satisfaction. So when we are done with this case study, users log into Oracle MoviePlex, they see a targeted list of movies based on their previous viewing behavior. We are going to take this massive data which is generated and we are going to present them with the movies they like from their previous clicks. Because of this personalized experience and the application's reliable fast performance, users will spend a lot of money with the company, hence making it an extremely profitable company. In the next few slides, you'll learn about the requirements for this application and also some challenges we will go through to in order to make this a very user-friendly website. Let's look at the challenges. So as you see, each clicks have been captured here. And what you're seeing here is the movie ID. Uh, and we'll go into the detail of each and every field, the time, if they've recommended this movie, and what activity it is. So we'll look into that in more detail. So each and every clicks are captured. That is the reason the application is generating massive volumes of unstructured data that describes user behavior and application performance. How can this company fully capitalize on this valuable information due to the cost and complexity to make the right movie offers at the right time? We have to make sure we are showing them the movies they would love and better understand the viewing trends of various customer segments. So how do you use this raw data to gain better insight into the customers, enhance their user experience, and ultimately improve profitability? So we need to optimize marketing spend by these customers, the customers we are going to target. We give them the optimal promotional offers, the offers which they would love, Minimize infrastructure spend by understanding bandwidth usage over time. At the same time, we have a limited budget, so we have to make sure we use less infrastructure to get more work done, like every corporation. Prepare to answer the questions that you haven't thought of yet. So the questions which might come up during this design, we have to think about that ahead of time. Actually, most of the companies are unable to fully capitalize on this potentially valuable data. All the companies have this data, but they are not able to use it as an insight for their business. So as, as a developer for this movieplex, we will try to capitalize on the raw data to gain better insight into our customers, enhance their user experience, and ultimately improve profitability. As we talked about, the application generates a huge volume of unstructured data, and this data requires fast response time measured in milliseconds. So you want to do take those clicks they have clicked a few seconds ago and propose according to those clicks. So you cannot wait until they log off and then work on that data. It has to be in real time. So there has to be minimum lag. 
So our goals, to deliver a personalized movie watching experience by collecting and storing multiple details, the application is able to understand the customer's browsing pattern, display content that the customer prefers. So these are the goals. We want the application to understand the, the customer's browsing pattern. To achieve this goal, the application must collect and store user profiles, movie listings, ratings, users viewing location within paused movie. So in the previous one disclaimer I need to add, all customer information and session details are completely fictitious. We don't have to worry about uh, having real user information here. This is the architecture. This is what we are going to propose to a client who owns MoviePlex actually. MoviePlex application requires a cost-effective approach to handle big data we talked about with minimum infrastructure. The application captures every user click. The resulting log file that's generated is estimated to contain huge volume of semi-structured and simple data with details of movies that users viewed and the position until which the trailers were watched, reviews, ratings that users provided, and so on. In addition, the application must provide the services on large web scale, supporting thousands of customers. So you just don't have one customer. You've got multiple customers who are going to be doing the same, and we have to give them their mood recommendations. To give users satisfying experience, the application must deliver content with minimum latency. So each time this click is generated, we need to take that click. We load it to a advanced analytics software, which does the intelligence, and then we recommend that back to the customer. But this has to happen in real time. So all activity is logged through NoSQL. We load recommendations, capture activity. We use analytics, looking at the previous data, how we can convert this customer who's just browsing to actually buy a movie or rent a movie in this case. And this has to be done with the minimum latency. So as I mentioned, we cannot wait until the customer logs off, work on the data, and wait till they come back. Because when they come back, they might be in the mood for a different movie. So all our work is going to be wasted. So this is the proposed architecture flow. Simple profile updates. The user profile contains everything required to drive the personalized experience like the movie recommendation to the customer, deliver a personal experience to every user. Each user profile must be retrieved and updated with minimum advanced analytics. So movies based on mood provide a compelling user experience and deliver targeted recommendations based on a user's current mood. As we said, it, it is the time when they are logged on. It's not the next time when they come in. Key value store. This is a little console application that lets you see what a key value store is. When you pass a key value, this helps customers visualize a key value store. Each user profile must be retrieved and updated. Now, the challenge is, is to service this request in real time at that scale. So you've got thousands of customers logged on at the same time, thousands of customers looking at thousands of movies. Finally, we will give them an advanced profile attributes deliver a personal experience to every user, deliver targeted recommendations based on their past movie viewing habits. Each of these tasks have different challenges and use different products such as Oracle NoSQL database, Oracle Advanced Analytics on Exadata, Oracle R Advanced Analytics for Hadoop. So we've got multi multiple technologies working together to give them this experience in a real short time. Look at this data which is generated. Now, here's what the data actually means. The customer ID is the ID of the customer. The movie ID is the ID of the movie they are watching. The general ID is the, the genre of the selected movie, type of movie it is. The timestamp when the customer watched the movie. Whether or not the selected movie recommended. So if they recommended this movie, yes, no. And the activity, just they did search. Did they list this movie? Did they browse the movie? Did they started the movie, not completed or completed the movie or read the movie after they watched the movie? So everything has been logged here. And that all information needs to be 
processed by these different technologies. I will have this cheat sheet, uh, which gives you more detail uh, in the resource section, which you could watch also. This is created by Oracle. A nice video. I would suggest watch it uh, before we go full-fledged into this program. 